I don't know. Thank you. Do you want Nanny. to talk about your time in Colorado? Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? Sucked. I learned to let myself feel, I guess, and to not be afraid of those feelings. Couldn't one argue that those old fears turned out to be justified? What do you make of that fiction? Oh, one minute. When a choice comes up, I just thought of something. Hmm. I suppose I'm proud of you for trying. You helped I thought I heard people. it. <laughs> Chased a mystery. Got to kiss a pretty girl. Hell yeah. But Alex, you're right back where you started. Yeah. Eh, that's life. Oh, but before you pick. That dialogue option with Eleanor about like, remember how a new dialogue option picked up, but then we couldn't like talk with her. I bet that was for Riley mm. if we would have found her because she said like, good thing Riley didn't find out about, you know, my condition. I'm, that probably would have been like a thing. Like if we would have found Riley, we could have like brought up with Eleanor thought to not, even though we knew, but yeah. you, you know, video game logic. There she is. <clears throat> what are you doing? <laughs> Okay, Minnie. Hi. You're wrong. I don't belong in here. If that were true, Alex, you'd know you were talking to an empty chair. Damn. What the fuck? Are we in purgatory? I guess that's me. Hi, Minnie. Case number 53322. Violent, ugh. hallucinations, hallucinations, depression, anxiety, illusion. Ugh. I mean, not wrong. Thrown down a what? Alex experiences a detailed and robust illusion that she is able to read other people's emotional states and believes that because of this ability she is uniquely equipped to help others overcome their own emotional trauma. It's difficult to overlook the irony. Someone as profoundly dysfunctional as Alex adopting the role of emotional caretaker. Had she not been returned to my care, I do not think it hyperbolic to speculate that her reckless attempts at fixing her friends and family would eventually have gotten someone hurt. It is my belief that Alex's delusions constitute a threat to her continued well-being as well as those of those of others. As such, I recommend Alex be thrown down an endless pit. Yeah, we're in some kind of dream or something. <laughs> her body shattered against each jutting board and errant brick until she is forgotten in the darkness beneath the world this is in my professional opinion the most humane thing we can do for her man this is making me fucking depressed man right. reminds me of max's nightmare sequence oh uh, yeah in a way like all of her worst fears
these don't belong to Dr. Lin. A tuning peg. Oh, hello. <clears throat> I wonder who's texting us now. Of course. In search of one missing patient answers to Alex. She was always scratching at the door trying to get out. But she's declawed, so her capacity to fend for herself is minimal. Ew. If spotted, please exercise caution when approaching. She will appear friendly and normal, but we've had some behavioral issues in the past. Please help me find my patient. I'm starting to get really worried. How did I even get back here? Attention residents, please join me in welcoming Alex Chin back to Helping Hands. We're happy, though not surprised, that Alex has once more submitted herself to this stultifying and inescapable embrace of our institution. Ooh. In light of all the recent excitement, now is a good time to remind Helping Hands residents that impulsive or impulses to leave our institution, while understandable, are best resisted. Remember, the outside world is a sharp tooth and possess, yeah, possessed of an insatiable hunger, and you are soft and slow and appetizing. Why throw yourself into this mouth? Throw yourself instead into mine. Well, they're Alex now. They're cute. <laughs> Is that what I look like? Really? Hey, my guitar. Knock, knock. Um, Alex Chen? My guitar case has never heard of me. Sure. Huh. Oh, what was her code? 53322? Yes. I think. Sure, I can probably I think so. check. If I need to, but I think it was 53322.
I thought we were actually going to make it. Back here again. Alex. Gabe. <gasps> You're dead. So? Lots of people are dead, Alex. Most people. Where are we? I want to say a hospital. Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Yep, definitely a hospital. Gabe. Okay, here's what I do know. You are 10, I am 14. Our mother is sick, so is our father. But it's a different kind of sickness. Play your part. Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Go check on your mother. Okay. She was right over there, waiting for me. We spent so much time in here that I basically memorized every article. Gabe told me it was full of needles. It scared me to death. We couldn't afford a private room. Just got lucky, I guess. There it is. The painting that taught me that art sucked sometimes. Gabe and I used to watch cartoons on this thing after school. Mom used to fidget with her keys whenever she was worried. It was always too hot in this room. How many nights did Dad spend in this room, sleeping in an uncomfortable chair and eating vending machine dinners? There's something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry. Mom, every time I saw her, I worried it would be the last. Hi, Mom. 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 You're such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave.
Alex. Go check on your mother. Okay. Wait. Did I miss something? Mom used to fidget with her keys. There's a she was worried. I saw water that I didn't notice last time. No matter how much mom drank, her throat was always dry. Saw the TV. Painting. No matter how much mom drank, her throat was always dry. I didn't look at the curtain She's before I went in. Just on the other side. Dad. Not too bad, are you? Not too bad. <laughs> Take it one day at a time. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Get her some water. I didn't think it was there last time. You almost never cry, even when you are very small. Did you know that? That's been my biggest challenge with you. How do you take care of someone who is already so strong? No tears, my strong girl. I want you to make me a promise. Your brother, your father, they are going to need you. You have to be strong. Will you do that, Alex? <laughs> Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave?
Was that the last time you talked to her? Mom. I... I think so. Do you miss her? Gabe, what's going on? You're 11, I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. You keep running back and forth, trying to defuse us both. This is going to suck so bad. Oh no. Play your part. There was only ever one thing to do when I got like this. Drown them out. The volume dial was my best friend on days like this. Not gonna lie, this is hitting me different for personal reasons. Okay, it's just me. But you know that's not how it went down, right? my job to keep the peace but no matter what I did when wasn't this place falling apart mom's old sewing kit don't think I've ever even tasted a butter cookie I can't believe they were ever this happy Gabe used to steal dad's beer all the time it was like the one thing they didn't fight about. We never really touched these after mom died. She was such a good cook. Two cups water for one cup rice. Set timer for 30 minutes. Do your history homework. Serve. Almost empty. Almost always. I didn't even know what CPS was. Just that I was afraid of them. I wanted to be a werewolf that Halloween. Couldn't afford the costume. My job was to sort them in order of how close we were to a collections notice. Thanks for trying, lucky cat. It was full of greeting cards. Mom kept every single one we ever got. At least I managed to hold on to you, Shu Shu. Dad's laundry. 
I always set it here when it was done so he could find it. I tried so hard to keep my promise to her. Mom and Dad had this TV before they had either of us. Gabe had barely used this backpack in weeks. Nobody could get him to go to school. Gabe loved Son of Lead back when it was an indie. It was too gory for me. The killer mistress tabs in this book weren't even close to right. Are you able to read it? Hmm? Are you able to read it? Oh, I did. No, my just I, I just opens it. Gabe and Dad were so loud when they fought. Where are you going? Are you gonna tell her? Or is that my job? Keep your voice down. Fine, I'll do it. Alex, Dad lost his job again. So we're broke again. Don't talk to me that way. Despite what you may believe, you do not know everything. You think what? I laid myself off? It's okay. We'll figure it out. I could, um... I don't know, Dad. But what are we supposed to do now? We gotta eat. We can sell some records. Or, or what about my guitar? We can sell that? Alex, what is it gonna take to get you to stop defending him? If your mother could see you now. I don't want to hear about Mom. Gabe! <laughs> I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse to be a piece of shit. Don't fucking touch me, piece of shit. Dad. <gasps> Damn it, Alex. I'm okay. It's okay. It was an accident. Alex, I, 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 I didn't. Dad. Dad, it's okay. Really, I'm not hurt. I think my drivers are hiccuping. <laughs> I can't do this. Dad? Someone will come. That woman from CPS someone dad I'm sorry no. Uh, no. much in the feels, Rachel. I'm sorry. Hey, can I ask you a question? Which orphanage is this? The one in Grant Park? I kind of thought it'd be nicer. I can't do this, okay? I... I can't. <laughs> you need to. No. You need to be honest about what you see. I was. 
I have. And now I'm done. Almost. But not yet. I wonder if these are like emotions that she's repressed all these years. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe, come on. Then you're 13, 14, 15. Orphanages, group homes, musty rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. By the time you're 17, you've seen them all. Somewhere along the line, you start to feel things. Your own emotions don't belong to you. You have nothing. No one. You are alone. I don't want this. Alex. Play your part. Play my part. I used to write one every day. Stupid. Why? You clearly missed him. And I thought he missed me. Hence, stupid. Guess I missed a few days. We weren't allowed. We weren't allowed to bring glass into the dorms. So we had to drink from this thing. Like hamsters and God. They put me on so many meds. Did any of them ever work? Some of them help. A little. None of them fixed me. In their defense, mutant empathy isn't exactly in the DSM. They used to say this place wasn't a prison. Or maybe they were trying to keep you safe? Guess so. Whatever the reason, the end result was prison bars. I took a fork in here one time and hid it under my mattress. Just cuz, fuck you. They should have stenciled the same thing on all of us. You really feel like you were their property? We didn't belong to anyone else, did we? I remember the kid who put this here. Sadie Sally. Um, something with an S? You were friends at first, right? Way at first. Then I freaked out on her and she was done with me. Just like everyone else. Fancy. Everyone had one good outfit. Oh, uh, go back to that bed. I think there's uh, Did it help? a book or something. I think you already know the answer to that question. Wait, try go to the other side. Oh, the comic? I, it looks like a comic. I tried interacting with it. Oh, no, mine. Okay. Well, there are my strings. Where's my guitar? Yeah. How are you holding up, Shu? Can't believe how long you've had that thing. That thing was my only friend after you left. Okay. 
She's been through so much. I just don't know if we're prepared for a troubled girl. It says here she's sensitive. What does that mean? I wonder why she's never found a home before. I'm sure she's a sweet girl, but she's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? This is the kid that's been in all those fights, right? <laughs> I want to help. I, I really do, but there's just something... Off. Broken. Wrong. With her. Sorry. Why? You need to see it. See what? That nobody picked me? Nobody picked you. Nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. Mom died. Dad left. I bailed. You couldn't keep us together. It was my job to keep us... You were 11 years old. You were 11 years old. You were a kid, Alex. Let it go. People leave. Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. Make it better. Be angry at Dad. Miss Mom. Hell, be angry at me. But don't give up. No one gets to tell you what you're worth. And no one can take your life away. Fight. I'm not sure I... You have a gift. It's something you don't even understand. You can change the world. Get up. What? Get up and fight. Never thought I could relate to her this much. <laughs> the whole her having to be the glue. It keeps the family together. Well, I'm... I'm gonna get some sleep tonight. What about you, Rachel? Oh, that's the games.
Oh yeah, I just remember Jed shot us. I um Yeah. How do we wind up here again? Oh shit. No more ladders. Not that I'd be much good at climbing. Okay, so if we make it out alive, I'm assuming we're not gonna be staying at New Haven. <laughs> Unless everyone gets just like Jed said. Unless Typhon gets taken down. Jed also gets shot. I'm gonna choose not to read anything into this. <laughs> I don't think we're going to almost laugh if it wouldn't hurt so much. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to save the town in this final episode. How stop them down here? Just find stuff. Pack up our bags and just get the fuck out of here. We just let it be something, because we are going to die down here. All right, boys, getting close. As I say it looks like anger. for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. Goddamn right. Oh, so we might get some more information about what's going on down here. This is what Typhon tried oh. to bury. A lot of runoff moisture in this soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This dig is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dig this deep before. We finish the job. Steady goes. Steady. Fuck was... Move! Come on! Clear the tunnel! Who's on radio? Jed! Fuck! Jed! Jed! Oh my god. We gotta move! Now! There's still men back there! They'll drown! Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out! Make the call, Jed! God damn it! God damn it! Everyone, let's go! Now! <coughs> Smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges.
Why, man? Was there a dad down there? Dad. What? 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 No. What? Dad! Come back! Dad, you son of a bitch! Chen, you gotta stop, Jesus. man. Jesus. Dad! Fuck you, Chen! Come back! It's over, Chen. He's not coming back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Jesus Christ. And he knew. And during my time here, I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. It's a this town shop makes me sick. run by multiple generations. A bar owner who greets every customer by name. It's a spring <sighs> festival tradition going back a hundred years. History, loyalty, pride. These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community and we're tremendously excited for its future. So angry. So angry. Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're you here like nothing happens official. So I'm going to vote, folks, and then lunch. Mm hmm. Alex, oh my god, I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? You're a fucking man. I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex, you're hurt. Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. And so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? You know exactly what's going on. I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. 
Jed Lukin isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. All they care about is making more money. They'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through. So they decided to bury the evidence and nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. Why aren't any of you saying anything? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. Try me. These accusations are... Well, they're insane. And it's trying to go to. into the mine was obviously a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. But we all sympathize with your situation. I wonder if taking Pike's so fear would have spoke up. But we'll see. We'll him. see. I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and make your life seem less unfair. Why don't you just tell the truth? You've been planning your exit from Typhon anyway. What? You never signed up for threats or attempted murder? You hate this. Now's your chance to stop. Dad? Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No. I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who are trying to help. Well, he is a monster. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> This is an act. You're lying. Please. I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too. But I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. I believe you too. Thank you, Charlotte. I'm horrified and shocked and still processing everything, but I believe you. Oh, wait, is this going to come where like our choices with the people might matter? Maybe. I would like to speak. Come on, Ducky. This young lady came to Haven as a stranger. But over the last few weeks, she's become one of us. Now, her story certainly seems unlikely, if not impossible. But she deserves at least an investigation of her claims. We ought to take her seriously. 
Thank you, Ducky. I was about to say, because we dance with you. <laughs> I agree with Ducky. Oh, thank you. I've always found Alex to be a very trustworthy person. Ashley was afraid that she wasn't going to believe us just due to her she condition. Take these accusations lightly. Something must have happened. Miss Leith, there's no actual evidence of anything. Maybe not. But that's what I think. I can plank. Pike. How about you? I heard you out last night. You know the deal. You're a cop. Do something. Alex, just, just give it up. Fuck! You coward. That, that, that's, if we were taking a sphere. But then again, it, it back... What kind of repercussions would it have had also? I take back for calling you cute, man. Fuck you. Why are you doing this? You think we just make it up? What? I mean, look, look at her. My dad is not a murderer. Were you afraid we couldn't get Typhon? Is that why you need someone else to blame? I thought we were in this together. Brigade. Damn. Ryan. No. I'm not gonna let you do that to me anymore. Ryan, what the hell? I know he's your dad, but look at her. Why would she now, lie about now, that? Now I'm glad we went with Steph. Too far. Alex almost died. It's not true. I wonder if he would uh you, Ryan, after everything? Seriously, fuck you! Stop. I wonder if Ryan would still act like that if you chose to be with him. Well, I, I, I did I, hear some chatter about him believing you dependent on the relationship, so maybe that has something to do with it. I wanted it's huh, so I wanted it would be vice versa, like Steph would have a hard you know time believing. Kill me. Mm -hmm. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. The world never gave him anything for free. He fought just to stay alive. He fought for us. That guy liked that answer for sure. Maybe he was finally winning. But you killed him. And then Gabe, my big brother. Haven was his second chance. He was so proud of who he'd become. A great boyfriend. A cool dad. But he died because of you. And then there's me. 
for so many years. I just wanted to survive, to get through. They even changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to help people because it's something I'm good at. Knowing I'm good at something feels fucking great. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. Gotten it, haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. You tell yourself you're a hero, a strong leader. Sometimes that means making hard choices. Decisions that could lead to people dying. Few men could handle that. Haven's lucky to have you. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And you couldn't even say those words out loud because you're a coward. You couldn't imagine saying it to your wife, saying it in front of your son. Every day you were brave enough to go underground and look death in the eye. But you couldn't muster the courage to admit the mistake. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side, and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. I see the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. I don't know. Let's see how this plays out. And I forgive you. <laughs> Confess, bitch. <laughs> Oh, 
Right now, Diane, you still gonna try to make up shit, or we're gonna have to like look you in the eye and do some freaky deek? Still annoyed with Ryan. Mm -hmm. I have read that it's possible to get it with, like, to have him believe you without being in a relationship, though. Huh. I mean, I was pretty nice to him. I don't know what would have made the difference. Oh yeah, fucking Pike. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Tyson's CEO, the Marshall Impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right. Yeah, the silence is worse. I need to get some air. So can we, so if we like see Ryan, can we be mean to him? After some. Unless we get some kind of apology or something, but I don't know. Especially after he admitted. Do I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait? I kind of think I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. That's good. Maybe she's starting to get out of her funk and she's taking oh, commissions yeah. again. I've got some continued support for you. Huh. <laughs> The phrase recent events is doing some work in this post. It never ends. <laughs> Excuse me. Pike has been suspended. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. I didn't even think he was going. Oh, be be before you go down, before you go down, I just got to say, I did not expect that to happen like he was going to get suspended because he's being like a, such a fucking bitch and shit um withholding evidence i did not think that was gonna happen uh i kind of sucks it kind of sucks that like if you don't take <laughs> these two <laughs> for our boys if it's <laughs> oh my god. Singular boy in beige. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> You're good. It kind of sucks. Unless there was some other way. Some other way. But it kind of sucks that, like, you had. If this was the only option, if. The only way that he would stand up for you if you were to take his fear. I mean, that sucks. Yeah. You know, we had to, like, abuse our. Oh, what's the very bottom? I didn't pay attention. There's no way the cops didn't know. There's something they're not telling us. Uh, drop. <laughs> okay. To help me. Okay. Oh, okay, this was before the arrest. Okay, it's all Jed. God, these feel just like reading local comments. I'm so sorry I worried you all. Mm -hmm. 
jib. Ugh. The slime ball. I bet Steph wishes she could reword that. But it's pretty funny. <laughs> That's cute. Ah, uh, you know he's salty. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Ryan. Maybe Dad deserved everything he got, but I'm still glad we were there with him in his last moments. No change. Good eye, though. Check it. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. This air was powered by adrenaline that whole morning. Now I'm mostly powered by extra strength Advil and these. I felt very close to Ducky after our dance. I guess he felt the same way. I know now that my inaction in the face of injustice was itself a terrible wrong. And I know that I will never be able to undo the tremendous pain and the loss I caused. Yeah, because you weren't going to get any. The only person who could give that to me is... is gone. Thank you. There are no victories at the end of this. Just more painful truth. I'll never understand exactly what happened to me down there, but I'll always be grateful. Feels like I've been through so much with Eleanor. It meant the world that she believed me. I'm glad he held on to it for whatever it's worth. Alex, they told me to destroy this jacket after the accident. I knew I couldn't do it. Perhaps some part of me knew that I would one day need to pass it along. When Gabe first stepped into my bar looking for his father, I swore I would one day return this jacket to him. Then I swore I would return it to both of you. I think you know by now what my word yeah, that yeah, what my word is worth. I did not deserve your forgiveness, but it moved me more than I knew was possible. I hope this gift will provide some small comfort to you in the days ahead. Well, at least he's not chaotic evil, I guess. Could bring himself to get rid of it. Oh, so yeah, that confirms he definitely, definitely knew all along. Mm -hmm. Must be rare that a local paper gets to break out the really big headline. See, this is why I try to only read the art sections. Must be about their shit. Well, let's go find Ryan and spin his face. Oh, we can go upstairs. Okay. Been a minute. All right. I hope it's Ryan. Got a big, I got a big loogie. <laughs> hey, Steph. Alex, wait. Shit. I mean, I'm... <laughs> I have to get this out. Okay. What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. And it made me want to be brave too. So, here it goes. I want to be with you. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. And if you'd rather stay here instead, then... Oh, 
Why would you do that? I want to stay here too. I mean, I was I was on board on like fucking leaving this town. <laughs> your, your tickets. You ripped your bus ticket. I can get another one or not. It, it doesn't matter. Oh my god, stop. I'm in for whatever you want. I mean, yeah, I'm down. You've uh, given me a lot to think about. Well, good. That was the idea. You know where to find me. Good luck, Tim. Thanks, Dad. Oh, so we don't even get to go upstairs. Mm. Okay, then, never mind. I was about to say. <laughs> there was, it looked like a note by the door, too, that I missed. I wouldn't be surprised if that note was from Ryan. Mm -hmm. Probably, like, apologizing or something like that. Some bullshit. All right. Just tell me. What? My future. What to do? The night of the spring fest, Steph made a strong push for. I'm actually surprised Mac didn't die. I, I was so betting on that. The excitement. Yeah, I wonder what he's doing since all this. Of course, that was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know-it-all. So tell me. Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. Really? You really think so? <laughs> of course. You finally have a home, a job, people who actually... Wow, do we have a job? The <laughs> place is kind of like... Unless she takes it over or something. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds too much work. <laughs> then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm about to tear up from that line. I hear something. It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. Life goes on. You get a job working with Steph at the record store. I wonder if this is like another like Hopefully copyright music thing. Probably. Probably. And little by little, time does its thing.
the apartment starts to feel less like a museum, and more like a home. Thoughts of Jed, of Typhon, even of me, begin to fade into the background. Oh, you know what? I just thought of something. Mm -hmm. I think, like, a way to influence Riley to stay here, like, if she doesn't go to school, if she knows that, like, um, the stuff went down with Mac, that he, like, was telling the truth and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. I just thought about that. And maybe she'll stay. Well, well, of course, she'll also stay because of Eleanor. But I wouldn't be surprised if the whole thing why isn't there something with Mac as well? Or she could have been like, you know, 100% done with them. Page. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. <laughs> you play, oh, God. You could have been. And, and no, Ryan. For more people, Actually, we haven't seen Ryan at all in this. Mm -mm. Music with the world. I wonder if it would have been different if he believed you. Oh yeah, and even though like he, that much at all. even though like, well, he has no choice but to like believe us now. Yeah. He th exactly he thinks he's gonna have to like. But one day you look around, and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. But it's like, Ryan think he should probably keep himself away due to, like, you know, awkward shit. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. You don't question it. You don't doubt it. Or wonder what might have been. It's your life. The life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course, you already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Where am I supposed to go? I don't have any other home. That is true. But you didn't have any home before coming here. And look what happened. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. So, what do you think? I wonder if there's a chapter select that I could go back and... Oh, well, damn. You know <laughs> didn't hesitate. I mean... I want to do both if I can. Yeah. <laughs> if not, I'll go watch it on YouTube. But, um... That, that actually would have been my choice, too. I mean, it, it is a great town, don't get me wrong, but...
Nothing. Oh, okay, I'm assuming this is the copyright music, not the one I said. Damn. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> no, I can't call this out. Uh, step? Okay, there she is. And now Ryan to say goodbye, which fuck him, it's you know. Cold. Dump. So so mad at him. I'm sorry. You should be mad at him too. <laughs> okay, I want to see how stuff plays out differently. Oh shit. Are we at? We gonna perform? It's been not quite two months. <laughs> oh. oh, okay, that's just from the uh, okay. thing. Uh, the uh, damn. Arthur. Uh, oh, probably the, a journalist. Yeah. Or Oh god, man. <laughs> People are annoying. Oh yeah, I just saw where like, we do get a text from Ryan. <laughs> oh god. Okay okay, we're not you not we're not reading that. We're not reading all that. <laughs> Okay, so so Max still alive. Okay, good. All right, let, let's sit. And was hero. And we didn't even reply back. Oh, m Rachel. Oh my God. I, okay, I, I actually, I actually feel kind of like. So I said, because I'm sure he was in a shitty predicament too, because that's his fucking dad. Yeah. I, I, she replied back to fucking she, Rachel. <laughs> she replied back to Mac, but not Ryan. He didn't give her an in-person apology either, which was kind of shitty. That's right. It was just through text. Unless that note under the door, but still. But even then, that's still kind of lame. I wonder what happens if they stay in Haven. If there's a chapter select, I'll go check it. Hello, everyone. I'm Alex Chen. That's it. All right, time to look up the choices. All right. That's pretty split, actually. Hmm. Not not bad at all. I'm actually. I actually would thought it would have been more like fifty fifty, or maybe like fifty two hit the road and. Uh, but but then again, but then again, like um, it, well you know. All right. So oh, Alex yeah. forgave Jed. Okay, so you did the right you did the right thing on that one. Um. Alex claimed she learned not to feel uh, to fear her emotions. Fifty two percent. All right, so. 
Some members of the council stood with Alex, 83%. Everyone on the council supported Alex. So, uh, you got everyone except for Pike. And I'm assuming that's Probably just... Pike and Ryan. And Ryan, yeah. And... Four percent. None of the council members had backed up Alex. That's cool, man. I'm assuming that's like if you just it don't even do much of anything with like the extra size stuff. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. So I, I want to see if we can replay. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, what's the top? Uh, uh be, before I even look down on that, God, now I'm gonna be interested. Uh, I'm ignoring that for a sec. Okay. 46%. Alex wanted to help more people in the uh, Okay, that, that okay. Uh, that, that that's when we were like, you know, dead for like a minute. <laughs> okay, Alex didn't sit on the bed. Uh, okay, that's reflecting thing. Okay. 49%. Alex didn't see Ryan after the vote. Huh oh, hold, 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 hold that. Hold hold that thought. <laughs> Excuse me. Huh. Like, wait, 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 wait. Uh, let, let me go one by one with that. Okay. <laughs> Alex forgave Ryan for not believing her 16%. Alex wasn't ready to forgive Ryan. 4%. Alex didn't see Ryan after the vote. 49%. Ryan stood by Alex. Uh, during the vote, thirty one percent. So Alex didn't see Ryan after the vote, forty nine percent. So so was there like a way to like see Ryan after the whole voting thing? Like like if that note was for Ryan, uh, was from Ryan, and you could probably like see him like downstairs. I'm assuming hypothetically. Maybe. Um. Uh. Go back. We'll go back one. Fifty-six percent stayed in Haven. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure what exactly amounts up to these stats. Fifty-six percent. Uh, you can go to the next one. I was just doing some math. Oh wait, go to the second one one more time. Sorry, forty-nine percent. Didn't see Ryan after the vote. Um. Hmm. Uh, I, I'm just. I'm just assuming I could be one hundred percent wrong. That it could be. Um. Maybe Ryan was like downstairs and like had like the note, please come see me, you know. Because uh, looking at. Okay, that was during the whole voting thing. I was just. I'm guessing maybe. If that note was from Ryan, you had the option to like go downstairs before you go upstairs. And, um, but you can like, of course, choose to go downstairs if you want to to like talk to him about it and then that will give you the option to like you know um forgive ryan for not believing her or alex wasn't ready to forgive ryan but um but i'm actually surprised 31 percent um people got ryan to stood by alex that but it's good to see wait go to the next one uh Although, uh, doesn't that sort of line up with who the people gave the rose to, if I remember correctly? What was that? Didn't the numbers sort of line up with who they gave the rose to? Because wasn't the stuff like 67% or so? Like 60 or 70. Like 67 or so? something? Something like that. I can't go back by episode, I don't think. But, um, no. let me look at the second one one more time. Uh, um, but if, oh, but, but that, but that, man, that, that, that would suck though. Like the only way like Ryan would forgive 
I mean, that Ryan would stand by you if you decide to crush on him. I don't know, because there were a few people saying something about they didn't have to romance Oh, okay, to... then. Alright, then scratch. Then maybe we, like, missed a couple of things it with... So, Alright, uh, final page. Um, Charlotte sided with Alex during the vote. Um... Charlotte believed Alex, but couldn't help one person. Charlotte turned her back on Al. Damn. Whoa, sixty-one percent. Charlotte turned her back on Alex, sixty-one percent. Who who pissed her the fuck off? Holy cow! Okay. Um, I wonder if it has anything to do with taking the money or not. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, but, like, you encourage her not to take the money, though. No, I mean, like, if she would turn her back. Or maybe, I don't know. Taking her anger, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. But I'm I'm actually, I'm wondering, like, Charlotte believed Alex, but could help, but... What, what, what do you mean, could help? Could help with what? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, you just sided, or, I don't know. Eleanor sided with Alex still in the vote, 49%. Eleanor... <laughs> Her to get Alex help. Uh, I I'm assuming mental yeah, help. Probably. That's cold. Uh, Pike told Alex to give up. Pike sided with Alex during the vote. 72%. Huh. Pike, I'm sure that is from the last episode. Because more, I, re I remember more people took Pike's fear. Which I, I was shocked. Sense. I, I which I was shocked by that. It makes sense, but I'm like, damn, you got to like abuse your fucking powers. Yeah. I, I mean, well, don't get me wrong. We, it's like, don't you have a conscience? Right. I I mean, like, don't get me wrong. We already like abused our powers like many times. <laughs> it's life is strange. That's the whole thing. Yeah, but like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Ducky sided uh with Alex doing the vote fifty six percent. Ducky remained loyal to Jed. I I think that's more determined if um if you dance with them or not, mm -hmm. which uh, help him out with all that. Which um. Well, well, I'm assuming that's the main contributing factor, because I I was shocked that not that many people decided not to help Ducky because I guess they didn't think that he anyone would be in the back of the bar. Yeah. Um, 69%, um, Ryan believed Jed during the vote, wait a minute, Ryan believed Alex during the vote, 31%, R what, wait, what, wait, wait, go, go back one, uh, uh I'm looking at the last one, um, Ryan stood by Alex during the vote. 30, 31%. Uh, Ryan stood by Alex during the vote. Uh, go and go to the last page. Um, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah the numbers were. Yeah, um, go to the second one one more time. Ryan stood by Alex during the vote. Okay, third. Okay. Okay, uh, I would just make sure the numbers weren't confusing, but um, yeah, um, but yeah, Ryan believe Alex during the vote. Ryan believe Jed during the vote, which is well, the majority Ryan believe Jed. I mean, that's the more realistic option, if, honestly, you know. Yeah. Um. Oh, okay, so this one. Uh so Ryan and Alex don't get together. Seventy one percent. Um Ryan leaves Haven to be with Alex, eight percent. That's the one that surprised me. Hmm. Yeah. Ryan and Alex start dating in New Haven, twenty one percent. Uh, Alright, um, and the one that is most important, and damn, that's, um, pretty divided. Mm-hmm. Um, your options. Steph and Alex leave Haven together, 35%. Uh, 
Um, Steph stays in Haven with Alex, 36%, and Steph and Alex do not get together, 29%. Okay. Chapters. Oh, uh, can I? Just see the other ending and see if I missed anything. Oh, yeah, see what that note is. Unless it was just a graphic thing, but I doubt it. Is there any way to uh, skip yeah, this? I would. Oh yeah. Okay. Strength and willpower. Okay, we. I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. Lawyer. Oh man. Maybe I do deserve some dollar sign justice, but I'd much rather be able to move on with my life. Hmm. I want to go outside without seeing anyone. That's why God created rooftops. Oh, then I wonder how we see Ryan, though. Yep. Really? What the hell? Maybe not. Okay, I'll just go look it up on YouTube. <laughs> Since I ain't got the midnight. patience. Yeah, I'm getting tired. I've been sleeping like shit for the last couple nights, anyways. Here's my. Oh, there we are. 